The collegiate fall sports seasons are coming to a close as New England weather gets colder and we head into November. But before we transition into the winter season of sports here at Assumption, the women's and men's cross country games were not quite done with their respective seasons. For episode four of the Coach's Corner, Evan O'Neill here with head cross country coach Stacy Wentz. The NCAA East Regional Championship was this past Saturday, and it was yet another milestone in program history for the women's team as they came in second place behind conference rival Stonehill, which qualifies them for a spot in the national championship in Tampa, Florida on November 19th. Now, even with the national championship berth for the women, the men also get high praise mm -hmm. for this meet as they came in 12th place out of 23 teams, a six spot improvement from last year. Junior transfer Elijah Fossis led the charge, followed by classmate Ian Flanagan and freshman Will Mardo. Fosses finished at 34.08, Flanagan at 34.18, and Mardo at 34.42. Now, Coach, we briefly talked yesterday, and you said that we needed to start off with the men talking about them because this is probably the fastest and the best meet that they've ever run. Yeah, I mean, overall, as a whole, this group was certainly the strongest we've ever been, one through seven or one through five ever in probably Assumption history. I think our spread between our top guy and our seventh guy was a minute, which is we've never been close to that. Mm -hmm. um, it was amazing. Um, everyone got through the race. Um, some of the freshmen, it's the first time they actually ran a 10K, so it was tough mentally. Will got out really hot, um, a little too fast. I think he paid, you know, realized that that probably wasn't the smartest thing, but you learn from that. He's a freshman. Mm -hmm. The great thing, we have everyone back next year, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm also excited that we're not done cross country yet, um, yeah. which we're going to talk about later. So Definitely. overall, kudos to them. I thought they, great, they put a great – um, performance together. It's one of our highest finishes ever for this program mm -hmm. in the long history of Assumption cro Cross Country for our men's men's programs here at Assumption. So that was really special. Definitely. Over to the women's team now, who was led by juniors Antonia Pagliuca and Courtney Fisher, who have finished in the top three all season for the Greyhounds. Pagliuca finished at 2202, Fisher at 2205. Freshman Kaylee Marston, who we spoke about earlier this season, finished third for Assumption at 2240. Of course, we've seen Antonia and Courtney lead this team all season long, and now they're helping lead this program into the national spotlight. Bottom line, the women are going to be running for the national championship in two weeks for Division II. You, you got to be happy about that. I mean, I'm excited. This is the first time it's ever happened in school history. The biggest finish we've ever had. We were tied for six. is the best finish ever in Assumption history. Um, now we got a, our first cross-country team to the national championships. I think that is so exciting for this program. Mm -hmm. But they have bigger goals. I mean, we had talked about this as, as a business trip. And, you know, we were going to prep for this meet to make sure that we – go but they still have a goal and they've been talking about it since the first day of preseason top 25 in the country and we're going to by golly do everything possible to make sure that we're prepared mm -hmm. um, to be able to go down to Florida and compete against the best a lot of people don't realize in division two there's over 325 sponsored cross-country teams for women out mm -hmm. there and to be you know especially right now definitely top 32 <laughs> out of those teams mm -hmm. um, that get selected for the national championships that's huge um, and like I said we're really excited about that um, I want to give a special shout out to um, my whole team but especially Courtney that was the best performance I've ever seen of her life um, she drops a ton of time from PRs um, and then also um, Kylie Marston, our freshman, you know, is really coming in strong at the end of the season when we needed her best. Um, and then everyone else did their job, as we talked about. And so kudos to the entire group. But even our girls that aren't in our top seven mm -hmm. that have made this program what it is. And then, you know, and like I said, it's been so special because when I first got here, Four years ago, the women's cross-country team was second to last in the entire region. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, to come from the bottom in four years to be at the top, it was a long road, trust me. It was a long <laughs> road over those four years, mm -hmm. and there were a lot of tears, and there was a lot of people that maybe not, not stuck out with the program. But those girls, those seniors, Aldra Harris, um, Rachel Avard, and Ashley Para, I mean, kudos to them for sticking it out four years and believing in what we were trying to do. And it was those three that have really helped catapult this program and even the kids that I've coached before um, and really taking this team to another level. So I wanted, you know, to give a shout out to all those mm -hmm. those kids. And that will do it for us this week. The women's team will travel to sunny Tampa, Florida for the Division II National Championship on November 19th. For more information on Assumption Cross Country and all of Greyhounds Athletics, visit assumptiongreyhounds.com along with head coach Stacey Wentz. I'm Evan O'Neill saying see you next time and go Hounds.